give that hand clap is for Jesus. Why don't you make it louder? In this service this morning, it is testimony time. The psalmist in Psalm 96 and verse 2, verse 3 precisely said, Declare his glory among the hidden and his wonders among the people. Some of our brothers and sisters have seen his wonders and have come to do just that. Can you put your hands together as I begin to mention them? Brother Ozo, Obi, Obi Gunmer, Okorie, Obi Na. The harder you come, the faster they come. And where am Onyewuchi? Tokumbo, I follow be. If it sounds like your name, please come forward quickly. Mabel. Oku Chuku. The third room. Are you here? If you sound like an please come forward. Why do I wait for them? Let's hear this written testimony. It said divine healing and escape. On the 17th of April 2016, I was diagnosed of hepatitis B virus, which halted my marriage. Counseling that same day, as I got home, I began to meditate and inquire of God. I don't want to keep on going in circles forever on this issue of marriage because having tried five different times to settle down or to no avail, in my family, there has been no payment of bride price, be he male or female, no marriage. The enemy just sat on everybody's marital destiny. When the operation process the land was declared, I gave it a rigorous, studious approach, praying kingdom advanced prayers with the privileged insight I have consciously acquired through the word of God from God's servant, my father. I was put in the rescue and shower squads. I prayed like Jesus prayed, one hour each after three hours, round the clock. I went wide into soul winning because I understood that everything I need is in it. In my zone during the general prayers, I prayed for the voice to be registered in heaven. I gave God reasons why I should not be sick, that I am your servant on your assignment, so as entitled to healthy living. The glory of God. In the month of July, Operation 6678 was declared and is our healing month. Then on the 10th of July, 2016, during the communion service, I said to myself, enough is enough. As the word was going on, I was fully persuaded that I would be healed via the communion. The following day, I went for the test. I was hepatitis B negative. Today, my younger and elder sisters are getting married this month of August. Today, I have gloriously started my marriage counseling. The siege is broken in my family because I caught the family fire. Family faith fire. Matthew 6, 33 is the scripture. All glory to God of my father, Bishop David Oedepo. The testifier is Obono, D-E. Glory to God. Please, your name and what the Lord have done. Note. I have dominion. Uh, my name is Okorio Obina. I have come to give God the glory uh, for making me have dominion over sickness. Uh, so last, up to last year, uh, let me say, well, I say since the beginning of my life, sickness has been molesting me. You can go up to last year that someone embarrassed me that you call yourself a traumatical doctor, but you can't even hear yourself. Every, almost every month you talk about sickness and you know, I laughed, and I told him that what I'm promising you is that after this year, that was last year, that there will be nothing like sickness in my life anymore. So I prayed, and God ministered to me that I should take up the covenant of communion. Since December last year, I started buying the communion. Anytime we have a communion service, I will come, bless it, and I was taking it almost every day. And today, I am proud to say that since the beginning of this year, I have not had headache, talkless of pains, or talkless of any Hallelujah. Thank God the communion table is set again. Praise the Lord. I have dominion. I am Mrs. Obegerichi Neyozo. I just want to thank God for his faithfulness and mercy upon my family and my life. Truly, we don't serve God in vain. He's a respect of those that serve him. And on July 28th, my daughter turned one, and we celebrated her in a special family Thanksgiving. 
One week after, the devil struck, and we are about losing her. My, my, my husband was very fearful. The, the medications, we took her to the hospital. All the medication administered to her prove her body. But I just remembered one thing, that whatever God does shall be forever. And God cannot give me a child and take it. So I just quickly sent a text to Pastor here. Immediately he called and said that, he shall, that she, will be de, she will be delivered of that sickness. She caused the sickness, the root of that sickness. A few minutes after that prayer, doctor came in and they said ah, that there is nothing, that the medicine they are giving her, they have to discontinue it and prescribe another one. And the day after, we are discharged from the hospital. I again want to thank God for delivering my family. Last month again, there are many challenges, but God delivered us all. God and delivered them all and added another year to her year. Glory to God. Please, no stories. Praise the Lord. My name is Mabel Okuchukwe. I have come here to thank God for his faithfulness upon my life and my family. Just four days ago, the Lord added another beautiful year to my life. And this morning, I also want to thank God that exactly one year ago today, my father walked me down the aisle to join to a fine man. I want to thank God for his faithfulness because it has been one year of glorious bliss in my marriage, from one wow to a double wow. I also want to thank God. Last year, Shiloh. From now on, it shall be bliss all through in the precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Tukumba Folabi. On a Sunday like this, between the hours of 10.00 hours to 11.00 hours, 51 years ago, I was brought forth to this world. I have returned to come and give thanks to God. God has done so much for me. Without him, I'm nothing. And I really want to thank God, more especially, for connecting me up with this ministry, where we are trained to be winners. Amen. Amen. Somebody, you are lucky to be connected with this ministry. Say hallelujah. I have dominion. My name is Ewone Mwebuchi. I want to thank God for over one year and seven months I've been sleeping in free station, but God has given me a house. I, I, meet, I meet my senior brother sleeping in free station, also my younger brother. But I said, no, I am a winner, and I must get a house, and I break the yoke. I have come to return all the glory. Hallelujah. The winner shall never be sleeping on the gutter or outside in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the next to testify.